Okay, everybody, welcome to this Daisy video. In this video, we would like to discuss this masterpiece right here that you see in front of you. And this is the Daisy white paper that was published on the endotech.io website back in February 22nd. And um, you can easily download it from here. It's posted here on the blog of, uh, of, of endotech. And uh, yeah, if you still have questions or feedback to the white paper, you can send an email to support at endotech.io. Okay, so Dr. Anna Becker um, discussed the basic idea of the white paper in uh, some of the corporate Zoom calls. And in this video, I would like to go into more detail on the white paper. I mean, many of us joined DAISY because of the higher returns, but uh, some people still would like to understand the technology side of things, okay? And in this video, I would like to uh, yeah, discuss some of the most important elements, from my perspective anyway, that can help you understand uh, the technical side of things. And I will not discuss all 57 slides or 57 pages, I will just pick out those things I think are important uh, to understand the technology behind DAISY. And let me start with the tagline. The tagline is AI, and AI is artificial intelligence, AI-powered investing, unlocking, high risk, high return, alpha, okay? And by the way, this white paper assumes some, uh, yeah, some basic financial knowledge okay so some of the terms are not explained some are um, but as far as um, alpha let me go to the definition of alpha uh, this basically refers to excess returns earned on an investment above the benchmark return okay so in simple words uh, if your benchmark is bitcoin right so seeking alpha on bitcoin would be outperforming bitcoin or if your benchmark is the s p 500 uh, seeking alpha on s p 500 is basically doing better than s p 500 okay um, so this is the the content of the white paper and we will not discuss everything in detail but we will yeah briefly look at the legal disclaimer the project overview the executive summary the background, the market analysis, and the systematic trading. Uh, and this is all pretty much easy stuff, you know, easy to understand stuff. And then the heavy stuff will start here. The methodology, uh, the trading framework, the technology and architecture. Uh, this is all very specific, very technological, and I will not discuss it in, in much detail. But what we want to have a look at is the roadmap, the project team, and maybe some of the references. Okay, so well, the legal disclaimer, this is pretty much standard. This white paper is not a legal document. Uh, it uh, only provides background information about the technical aspects, right? Uh, and it's not a professional investment advice. And if you want to have professional legal investment tax accounting advice, then contact your financial advisor. Okay. So the project overview, um, first it is talking about Endotech and Endotech Limited is the technology provider. That's an Israeli company that, that is working in the field of artificial intelligence. And in 2018, they basically started uh, the algo trading. I mean, the company has existed for longer than that, but in 2018, they started uh, using their algorithm uh, to do high risk, high return, uh, high probability strategies, okay? And the company was founded by Dr. Anna Becker, and she is, by the way, also the, the creator of this uh, document, okay? And then in January 21, Endotech announced the equity crowdfunding uh, agreement with DAISY Global. Okay, so, so DAISY has basically started back in January uh, and now we are all waiting for the relaunch. 
um, there will be a lot of improvements made to the smart contract and mid of March is the target date for the relaunch okay so that's the executive uh, summary and yeah the basic idea is giving retail investors access to those uh, high uh, risk high return opportunities uh, because so far only institutional you know institutional investors big hedge funds you know accredited investors had access to those uh, yeah high return high risk high return uh, tools you know and uh, the big vision uh, of of Daisy is giving access uh, yeah giving retail investors access to those uh, to those tools B uh, and uh, historical investment strategies they centered around conservative saving plans and the latest generation you know the the young people they uh, they are no longer savings focused you know uh, and there is a growing number of retail investors that no longer content with traditional long-term slow growth strategies uh, they want they want aggressive returns okay um, right and the, the big the big uh, challenge with uh, with those high risk high return algorithms is that uh, that they are threatened by time horizons and also those algorithms can work for some time you know sometimes for a long time but one day uh, one day they will just fail because some of the fundamentals will change in the market you know and the technical analysis cannot predict that you know because the technical analysis is focused on historical data you know let me let me pull up the uh, the definition uh, so it, it it's basically using charts to identify trading signals you know so in our words it's looking at the historical performance and that will help you make decisions as far as where the asset might go in future so it's all about probabilities will it go up or down what is the probability of it going down or up you know uh, but um, what you really want to do if you're a long-term investor you also want to do a fundamental analysis right and this is something uh, that uh, is not easy to automate you know it's not easy to build a, an algorithm around the fundamental analysis and the fundamental analysis is basically looking at different indicators like if you if you talk about stocks uh, indicators like the the revenue the net value of the company the management team behind it so those are all those things that are not easy to systemize and to automate right and some of the hedge funds have already explored the use of deep data on fundamental analysis and um, this is something what daisy will try to do uh, with the new Zupa intelligence because so far they've been focusing on the technical analysis and uh, yeah with um, with the new uh, Zupa intelligence they are hoping to capture some fundamental analysis signals okay and yeah they want to develop uh, develop models that can go well beyond the sharp ratio of two you know and the sharp ratio is basically um, basically gives you um, yeah a ratio that helps you understand the return of an investment compared to its risk okay and this is how it, it will be calculated so you will have the return of the portfolio minus the risk-free rate and divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio's excess return just to give you an example uh, Bitcoin uh, has a sharp ratio above 2 right 
I think it was 2.8 back in, well, the last time I checked, it was 2.8 back in December, right? Uh, it must be higher now. So um, this is basically the goal of DAISY, to achieve a sharp ratio uh, beyond 2, okay? Um, what else? Okay, the market analysis. Um, okay, talking about the retail market. So the United States Federal Reserve Bulletin suggests that 51% of American families own stocks and the majority of those are direct holdings. I mean, this is why, why Robin Hood is so popular right now. I mean, the new generation, they no longer invest in savings accounts. You know, they, they want to trade, you know, they want higher returns. And uh, and that's why, yeah, Robin Hood, for instance, is so popular, right? And yeah, retail investors seek high return opportunities across different markets and assets. Um, and uh, yeah, this is what what Daisy would like to address. This is just some data as far as uh, gross savings based on the GDP, uh, and I believe this is worldwide right um, yeah okay yeah so su sustained high risk high return investment is the new retail ambition all right um, as I mentioned earlier sustainability in those high risk high return investments is a huge challenge However, there is a, um, a company, an investment fund, Renaissance Technologies. Uh, they have, they are using, um, they are using quantitative trading, you know, for their strategies, and they have had phenomenal results. Um, with their medallion investment fund okay that that had the best history of profit profitability on wall street you know 60 percent per annum <laughs> for 30 years now this is crazy isn't it uh let me have a look yeah so this was this is what the medallion fund was able to deliver and it was always not always but most of the times outperforming S&P 500, as you can see, S&P 500 is blue and the medallion fund is black. So it always outperformed. You see, sometimes 100%. Wow. Okay. Um, so this is, this basically goes to show that um, the, the technology, using technology for trading really works. Okay. Um, what else I mean it says it talks about hedge funds that have proven algorithmic opportunities um, and yeah hedge funds have approximately and and by the way this this white paper not only it explains what Daisy is it also gives you some interesting financial knowledge you know uh, it's it's uh, it can be considered a school book <laughs> as well you know and uh, I personally think that the Bitcoin white paper should be a school book, you know, um, that, uh, yeah, students have to read um, to understand, to understand Bitcoin and the technology behind it. So what else do we have? Yeah, so systematic trading. So this basically talks about the technical analysis. That's something we already discussed. I mean, this is mainly looking at the historical performance and then makes decisions as far as um, the next move of a asset, you know, and then, uh, yeah, and the text technical methodology. So they basically identify patterns and they're using this uh, uh, Ethereum example. So they just uh, look at the breakouts of uh, Ether, you know, and uh, that basically shows trends of 10% and up from January 18. So 
so ethereum has a lot of volatility more than than bitcoin and then they try to uh, yeah set up two different indicators one is precision one is accuracy so precision is basically uh, it depicts the number of patterns uh, uh, the algorithm achieved to penetrate and then the accuracy is showing how accurately those pattern uh, patterns were penetrated okay um, and then fundamental analysis so fundamental analysis and that's something we already discussed seeks the true value of of assets based on their fundamental worth through a lens of micro and macroeconomic understanding okay so and the challenge is the big challenge of fundamental of the fundamental analysis is that the underlying data is both endless and often meaningless okay um, so, and it's not easy to, yeah, to, for computers anyway, to understand what this data says and how to make decisions based on that data. Uh, because a systematic trading anchored in fundamental analysis is the new holy grail for algorithmic investors. Okay? and uh, yeah and this is the challenge of of the fundamental analysis the breadth of underlying factors is just uh, yeah it's just uh, way too big i mean you you have to look at social trends demand business leadership political movements regulations all that stuff um so let me just give you an example so corporate earnings reports arrive with data and words systematically picking up the frequency and position of various keywords can be a powerful input towards algorithmically understanding volatility okay so the script will be looking at different keywords you know you have a lot of text a lot of numbers and the algorithm will just pick the 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 most important keywords and yeah and give you an output that you can use to make decisions right or consider the understanding necessary to decipher the impact on fundamentals of a high profile investor like Elon Musk moving into Bitcoin as compared to other investors how is this fundamental move to be understood and read and read systematically okay so the technical analysis you know it will not consider those things like Elon Musk tweets you know uh, but the fundamental analysis might might help here you know because if you mine this data from from Twitter you know from of from from the Twitter account of Elon Musk uh, the the algorithm might be able to give you some outputs that can help you to understand if an asset will move up or down okay um yep okay now i mean deep learning uh that's something that is being used uh yeah by many many algorithms right uh but um it only gives you a relationship between the input and the output it doesn't give you the why and um, here comes the deep reasoning okay so let me give you an example uh, all animals drink water uh, cats are animals so we as humans we we easily understand that all cats are drinking water uh, and this is like a like self-explaining it's common sense for us but it doesn't come so easily for computers you know and this is where deep reasoning comes uh, into the game okay and uh, yeah the methodology will be discussed here so the combination of lessons learned from deep learning short shortcoming 
and the breakthroughs in fundamental analysis adopted from parallel scientific commodities create a clear path for modeling the fundamental analysis. Okay, so the, the deep reasoning methodology is fundamental to understanding um, the, yeah, to, to model the fundamental analysis. Okay, so um, this is something that uh, Dr. Anna Becker discussed uh, in uh, one of the interviews. Uh, she was showing this, um, this chart right here. And it all starts here at the bottom. So it starts with the raw, raw data pools. And then the data pools will be verified and normalized. Um, and then the mapping will take place. Mapping of movements and flows. And, uh, and the deep reasoning will come in the fourth step. You know, and uh, after deep reasoning is done, we can understand the volatility. You know, we can build a volatility model, and based on that, algorithmic trading will uh, will be possible. Okay, so there is there is a huge process between the raw data and the output. Okay, uh, I mean we often hear that phrase, "data is power." You know, but um, you need to understand the data to, to use it. You know, uh, so first you need to clean it. You know, you need to to take out all the noise, and then uh, uh, you need someone or or something. You know, to 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 yeah to make this data usable, and this is what this. Um, methodology showing here and all those steps are explained here and it's a lot of text you guys can read it for yourself so um, yeah as far as the data pools um, or basically the, the data source this will be described here and uh, at some point they mention where they take the data from so and uh, I mean, you need data like uh, econo um, yeah, the impact, you know, the impact on markets is made by economics, politics, society, and this is basically all the data that is needed uh, to to make those decisions. And yeah, I mean, this this now becomes very technological so they would basically show how they map the data so as far as the economy they will uh, have different clusters where the data will be uh, placed you know um, and there are several categories of money that they they explain so you will have material values such as natural resources land exclusive works of art and then money of global industry, as energy, basic materials, machinery, tools, heavy we vehicles. You know, you have consumer money, uh, which is manufacturing of widely consumed goods. You will have young money, and this money uh, earned by investing in financial assets. You will have unsecured money, money earned from non-resource and non-financial industries, such as tourism, show, business, uh, internet and so on so so they will basically categorize uh, the money you know and then they will look at a, a different uh, a different clusters a different uh, yeah categories and then uh, just map it you know just put it into different buckets to make it understandable for the for the super intelligence okay and this will now become very specific I will not talk about everything uh, so economy has an impact on uh, on the market politics has an impact on the markets the society and so on and this is basically how uh, those different aspects will be categorized okay so as far as domination, you will even see geographical 
clusters you know Russia Asia Latin American being uh, in one matrix the X matrix and then the rest being in the Y matrix and there is there is a distinct difference and it all makes sense you know so this is how this categorization will will take place you know and uh, put into a uh, a matrix or a map like this here okay and then as far as data sources so that's an interesting thing I mean they're using this is just an example they used the research division of the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis and its ideas database okay and sometimes and by the way it provides links to over 1.2 million full text articles okay so this is a lot of data that needs to be mined and uh, yeah and uh, understood and sometimes people wonder so why does endotech need so much funding to develop the super intelligence you know well first of all you need access to this data and that doesn't come for free second you need the, the tools you know to uh, to process the data and that also doesn't come for free and then you need smart and intelligent people that will use the data and uh, yeah and make something sensible out of it you know so and that all doesn't come for free so this basically describes the data collection and the verification um, of the data you know and this is all very technological and if you guys have time just have a have a read through it um, yeah deep reasoning for volatility uh, that's an important element okay and so on and so on so what else do we want to discuss uh, the trading framework uh, the trading uh, methodology they will talk about the portfolio management um, talking about buy and hold which is not a valid approach in such a young market especially especially like crypto markets um, choosing assets choosing appropriate signals choosing allocation execution and capacity uh, I don't want to make this video terribly long I mean we are already at 27 minutes so I think I will just uh, yeah, show you the trading infrastructure um, right here so we have the exchanges here down below like Binance or uh, Gemini we have the exchange connectivity uh, order execution prediction portfolio order smart order execution quote engine portfolio trading um, and it goes on right and yeah the funds come out of crypto wallets fiat wallets going through account management and then uh, the portfolio management and account management will then be merged into the user interface gateway and that will be then return to mobile or PC that's what we then will see in our Tron link uh, wallets or our Google Tr Tron link um, add-ons okay um, yeah, here they just uh, talk about the technology that is being used to stack and contain uh, the data, you know. And again, that doesn't come for free. I mean, it all costs money. That's why Daisy needs the funding. Uh, the roadmap, I mean, that's something you you probably all familiar with. We are here. White paper was released in February and then in April the core app development will start uh, Forex markets will be tested in July and then commodities will come in October and then in 22 uh, we will have the alpha version of the new DAISY and then in April 22 we will have the beta version of the new DAISY and then the final product will be available in July 22 so this is basically the DAISY team and we know Anna Becker, we know Dmitry Gushin. Um, here is the, um, the R&D um, R&D lead, you know, financial analysts. And yeah, this is basically 
the C OO, the Chief Operation Officer, Adam Rubin, he was presenting in one of the corporate Zooms. And down below you will find some references and um, the appendix actually shows some interesting stuff that you might want to have a look at. Um, it's basically categorizing the world money. I mean, it's down below, I think. Yeah, the money map, the global money map, that's an interesting thing, you know. If you wanted to buy the planet, it will it would be worth I think it says five quadrillions, you know. And this is a breakdown uh, of of all the assets we have on the planet. Okay? It also shows some of the uh, hedge funds, some of the most successful hedge funds. Those are the funds the funds that are using algorithmic trading and you might want to research them uh, renaissance technologies we talked about this one and then there are crypto hedge funds uh, galaxy digital assets funds alphabet fund and so on pantera capital grayscale i think we all know we all heard about grayscale um, yeah it has a lot of interesting stuff apart from uh, the daisy related stuff there is a lot of uh, interesting educational stuff that you might want to have a look at okay all right I mean uh, this is basically what I wanted to to uh, yeah to show you in this video I hope it helped you understand the technology side of things of Daisy and if you still have questions please join our telegram group and you will find down uh, the link down below and uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye.